Good morning, and welcome for my, for my second attempt at this morning's morning manna. The first attempt, I'm not sure why, but it recorded it without any sound, so hopefully this is better. This is the 20th day of the month of July, and I'm coming to you from the music corner of our living room, a place where I practice my keyboard, and on occasion I even give my daughters some violin lessons. It's a place that I'm increasingly realizing that I need, and not just as a place to learn either. It's a place where I can come and worship the Lord in song and even in melody. Now you may be wondering, Micah, don't you do that every week? Don't we do that every week? Well, on the days that I'm playing my keyboard, that might be possible if I were a true musician, but I'm still learning. Too often when I play at church, I have to concentrate really hard on the technical aspects of the songs so that I can play them without being out of tune or, or, or in the, at the right time uh, so I don't be distracting. Uh, too much so that I, I, I have a hard time entering the true spirit of worship. And it's not better on the weeks when I'm not playing up there with Matt because as a pastor, sometimes there are things that come up on Sundays that need to be dealt with. And uh, so unfortunately, that means that there can be weeks that go by that I don't really uh, enter into song. I don't really worship the Lord with singing, um, and that's not good. Uh, sometimes I've found because of this, as I did just on this Monday, that I, I become more irritable than normal. Um, I, I, my, my fuse is a little shorter than it normally is, and I've come to realize that this is because I need to worship the Lord in song. Uh, when I think of this, I, I, I think of I'm sometimes the exact opposite of Fraulein Maria, I am no Fraulein. Uh, Fraulein Maria, who is she? She's from the musical The Sound of Music. And many of you can remember the famous scene where Julie Andrews, Andrews who plays Fraulein Maria, is there on the, in the Austrian Alps on a sunny, bright day, going through the field, uh, a meadow of wildflowers, singing The Hills Are Alive with the Sound of Music. Well, as a musical, you would expect it to be full of songs. These spontaneous songs that seem to spring forth from some internal spring of happiness or joy, and they always are, and they always rhyme, and they always make sense. Uh, that's great in Hollywood, but is real life the same? I kind of don't think so, unless you're a kid. If you're a kid, like even my own kids, especially when they were young, Aaliyah still does this from time to time. They sing when they're happy. Sometimes they're songs that, uh, they, that we sing at church. Sometimes they're songs that they just make up. When they're content, when they're happy, they're singing. Sometimes it's just completely original, made up on the spot, a spontaneous fruit of their happiness and their contentedness. But as we get older, this type of spontaneity, this type of singing goes away. We get busy. We have responsibilities. We have lists to work through, lists that really never end and then there are days that aren't so sunny, days when we aren't so happy, and when the sun doesn't always shine for us on the high meadows in the Alps, and so we don't sing. We get stressed. We get stressed out at our jobs. We get stressed in our certain uh, situations, circumstances. We get stressed out because our society is, is in turmoil, and we don't sing. But if you remember the song, in the days from which Fraulein Maria sang her song, they weren't particularly perfect either. For she was singing from the country of Austria on the eve of World War II when Austria was aligning itself with Nazi Germany. Those were dark days, and yet she sang. Now, I'm not saying that we should take our cues from Hollywood musicals, but we should take our cues from the Bible. That's our manual to life, and it does have a thing or two to say about song and singing. Listen to what Paul wrote the Ephesians church in Ephesians 5. Verses 18 through 20 says, Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. These were instructions inspired by the Spirit of God for God's people. Paul didn't say, sing if you feel like it, or sing on the sunny days, or give thanks only if you're really thankful. He said, giving thanks always for all things, a discipline, if you will, to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
The reader, writer of Hebrews uh, would say in Hebrews 13, 15, that therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Not just when it's easy or not when it's just sun and bright, sun and nice, it's bright and sunny. Listen to what Habakkuk says about giving thanks and, and, and rejoicing in the Lord even in the dark days. He says in Habakkuk 3, 17 through 18, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vine, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields fail, and the fields yield no fruit, though the flock may be cut off from the field and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Many of you know the famous words of, the, of Nehemiah, 8.10, that says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. But the context of that verse is very interesting because it was given in the context of weeping. Because the book of the law had found, when they returned to rebuild Jerusalem and the, the, the temple, when they read the book of the law aloud, when the people heard what God required of them and what he wanted of them and for them, they recognized that they were so far from fulfilling God's law, and they wept. Verses 9 and 10 say, And Nehemiah, who was the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who taught the people, said to all the people, This is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn. This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way. Eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. If you're feeling run down, if you're feeling frustrated, or like your fuse is a little shorter than normal, ask yourself, when was the last time you worshiped the Lord in song? When was the last time you sang him a song? When were the last time that you were making a melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God? If it's been a while, like it had been for me, maybe you should sit down at a keyboard or, or pick up a guitar or go for a walk. Or, or if you sing in the shower, take a shower or sing along with your radio in the car. Making melody in your heart this day.